Hey guys, Codename Rosa here, and today I'm going to be showing you some interesting things I discovered about Marius. Not through official descriptions, leaks, or any other generally reputable sources, but rather what he looks like. I'm talking the physical features that miHoYo possibly specifically chose to represent him. Going to start off with a quick disclaimer. Spoiler warning for all Marius-related things mentioned so far in the global server. That includes card stories, main story, and personal story. I'm not in the other server, and I don't follow what happens there. Please don't spoil it for me and others in the comments, even if I say something that becomes very obviously right or wrong later on in the story. Pretty much all of my research was done on Google, scanning obscure and sketchy websites for oddly specific information. Now, without further ado. His name is Marius. We all know that. Marius means manly. We all know that. It is thought to be derived from either the Roman war god Mars, or from the Latin root mas or maris, meaning male. It may also derive from the Latin word mare, meaning sea. The symbol on the Pax logo, and the Von Hagen family crest, has a jiaolong, translated to Aquarian serpent, or water dragon of some kind. Not to say that's definitely what they intended with its name, but it's cool that it lines up. So then, where does war come in? I don't know, but hey, apparently they're just guessing the name meaning on Google too. His purple eyes are so beautiful, so let's look into what purple means, because that's what we're doing here today. I promise it's worth the amount of time I spent looking into this. The color purple is often associated with royalty, nobility, luxury, power, and ambition. Purple also represents meanings of wealth, extravagance, creativity, wisdom, dignity, grandeur, devotion, peace, pride, mystery, independence, and magic. Let's pick out some of the big ones from that list. Wealth and power. Great. We kind of gathered that from our first impression of him. However, eyes are the window to the soul, and there are much deeper meanings in that list than just his endless wealth. Creativity. A reference to his artistic talents, and perhaps his creative way of living life. Wisdom and Dignity He's shown to have thoughtful insight at a multitude of junctures, and a way of upholding the image of his company no matter what issues crop up. Devotion He has a strong sense of devotion to his company, even being willing to give up his dream of painting to keep it running smoothly. Perhaps this is even alluding to a devotion to you in the near future? The rest could have meaning, but we've spent enough time here and haven't even reached the negatives. I'll quickly add, though, that there's such thing as a purple heart medal, and this is its meaning. Odds of them taking this into account when designing Marius, very slim. However, similar meanings to the color purple are not uncommon. We also know full well that our boy has sacrificed many things in his life, and will most likely lose a lot more in the future. Light purple has more feminine energy and nobility. Bright purple is associated with richness and royalty, whereas dark purple represents evil, sadness, and frustration. Looking at Marius, I'd say his purple is on the darker side. Again, all of this is just speculation, so I'm not saying Marius is evil. But think about that sadness and frustration part. He sacrifices so much, and he's shown to be quite worn out when he's dropped his facade. His little kitten version shows this clearly in his PV. Our baby is sad. Now that's enough about eyes. He's got a lot more to him than that. We're not going too far, though. We're stopping at his hair. Let's all just agree that it's some shade of blue, okay? Color Picker says it is. Sort of. It's blue. The color blue represents both the sky and the sea, and is associated with open spaces, freedom, intuition, imagination, inspiration, and sensitivity. Blue also represents meanings of depth, trust, loyalty, sincerity, wisdom, confidence, stability, faith, and intelligence. It's matching time. Another mention of the sea. Freedom and imagination. Very fitting things for Marius. His imagination is such a big part of him, in the same vein as the creativity we mentioned earlier for his eyes. And his freedom. He really needs some freedom in his life. Marius ain't gonna last long like this, I can feel it. Wisdom, stability, intelligence, and confidence. So we know our boy is full of confidence. We can put that aside. But here's another reference to his ability to handle things. He truly is smart and resourceful behind his facade. Depth, trust, loyalty, sincerity, and faith. Now here's a glimpse at the true Marius. We've gathered bits and pieces of this throughout his character design and interactions with him. But here's the real list right here. Depth. 
There's more to him than that fake spoiled brat that likes to tease you. So much more. But, as Mihoyo's mentioned many times before, he's slowly removing this mask and showing you his true self. Though I kinda really like his fake side too. A recurring topic with him is a lack of trust. He says things like, you trust me too much, and the game keeps having him deceive you with little tricks pretty much every time you talk. However, he really is trustworthy, loyal, and sincere. Take, for example, the devotion we mentioned earlier. Devotion is just another word for loyalty. And remember when he lied to you about being leader of the N2X investigation team? Well, he did it to protect you, which does, through his lies, make him trustworthy, as he'll always keep you safe. Though he does enjoy the side effects of his lies, of course. The sincerity we can see through his paintings, for the more autistic types, and the lengths he'll go to protect what's important to him. Specifically, during his personal story. And lastly, in the positive category, we have faith. We can take this as an extra nice version of confidence. He had faith in you, and you proved his innocence in the murder case. Another definition could lean towards being faithful, which fits right in with the trustworthiness. Now, looking back at all that, we might also put it under a different light. He's expecting this from you. He's hoping that you're trustworthy, that he can speak his innermost thoughts to you. He's hoping you're loyal and sincere, and that you won't listen to what the world says about him. He's hoping you have faith in him, and that you'll see who he truly is without hurting him. Now the bad blue stuff. Feeling blue is a common phrase that means you're sad or depressed. Another possible mention of his suppressed depression. We'll comfort you, Marius. I'll point out that there's another medal called the Blue Heart Medal. As I said last time, there's a slim chance this applies, but it confirms that loyalty and freedom are some of the major points of blue. We're also told of a sacrifice on our boy's part. I sure hope it doesn't get too serious though. Please. I'm already teetering on the edge with Luke here. Now this darn flower. I spent forever trying to find out exactly what it is, but I'm still not 100% sure. I had to settle with the purple tulip. Tulips normally have six stamen, and Marius' flower has seven, but I couldn't find a better match anywhere else on Google. I suppose these are just specially grown tulips with seven stamen. Or I'm terrible at research. A real possibility. Purple tulips are linked to royalty and prosperity. Purple was always a symbol of royalty, wealth, and nobility and also a symbol of extravagance, independence, and devotion. So yeah, the whole purple means royalty thing returns. But we get another mention of his independence and devotion. If you didn't think hair and eye colors mattered, you've at least got to agree they chose their flowers very specifically. We already covered this though, so we'll just wrap up the section. Now for some major theorizing. Just take a look at this photo. It's full of possibilities, and many people have already given their thoughts on it. Of course, I'm people, so why can't I give it a go? I'll focus specifically on Marius, though, for now. There will be information presented at first, then a bunch of different theory possibilities. I really don't mind what Mihoyo decides to do with his character, so I can't say that I support any of these theories more than the others. They're just food for thought. We're going to start off with the flowers. They're yellow roses, and that's super scary for Marius fans. I'll explain in a bit. We'll start with the happy meanings. The color yellow is bright and conveys happy thoughts, so it's no wonder that yellow roses showcase positive feelings of warmth. The yellow rose meaning is often considered that of friendship. However, the color once signified the negative traits of jealousy and greed. Never fear, as it's widely known that the sunny hue represents a positive, amicable bond. Good stuff! I mean, except for the second half with the whole jealousy and greed thing. But hey, friendship sounds good, right? Well, sorry to leave you hanging, but I'll get into that later. Interestingly, Yellow Rose's almost universal meaning is a sharp contrast from the definition of Yellow Roses in the language of the flowers from Victorian times. In this era, Yellow Rose arrangements were not associated with positive feelings, but rather with jealousy and the end of a relationship. Most believe this is because Yellow Roses of that time period typically lacked the signature fragrance of roses, a trait that, if personified, would mean yellow roses were jealous of their more lovely scented counterparts of other colors. Fortunately, warmth and positivity won out, and today yellow roses' meaning is almost consistently a happy one. Well, we can't say positivity won out in Stellas. Marius specifically says in his PV that he wants her to see only me. He's a jealous guy. However, we can't disregard the fact that maybe you're the one that ends up jealous. I'll leave that up to your imagination. Yellow roses are a symbol of friendship and caring. 
Never send yellow roses to someone you are romantically interested in, as this suggests you would prefer to stay in the friend zone. In fact, yellow roses are one of the only roses that have no romantic meaning behind them. Sending yellow roses to a friend is a lighthearted and kind way of showing them that you were thinking of them. It speaks towards optimism and is not likely to be mistaken as a romantic advance should you send them to a coworker or friend. No romantic meaning behind them. Uh-oh, guys. They specifically chose to give Marius one of the only unromantic roses. We see time and time again that Marius is quite smitten with you, and you're slowly gaining a love for him despite his teasing. But who's the one giving the roses to who? Or is it mutual? Before all hope is lost, quick! Let's jump into the next interesting fact of these friend zone roses. A bouquet of three roses means I love you, and is the traditional one month anniversary gift. Whoever is giving these roses says they want to just be friends, but their true desires are hidden. There truly is love there. But that could also mean that they just love each other as friends. Any further discussion from here is just plain speculation, much like the rest. So I'll leave the rest up to you guys on what this oddly specific number of yellow roses means. Moving on. We've been eyeing these the whole time, and it's made us a little wary. Time to address the jewelry, beginning with the ring necklace he's wearing. I hear there's some controversy about what it is, so I'm just going to lay out all the information and you guys can decide what to believe. First, it's official that the creature shown is a Jowlong, or Aquarian Serpent, the family animal if you will. The marine serpent, ancestor to the Dragons of Legend. The Aquarian Serpent has served as the Von Hagen family's emblem for over a century. It symbolizes a water serpent that flew above the ocean's depths and pierced the clouds to soar beyond the horizon. It embodies the wishes and efforts of the Von Hagen family's ancestors. In simple terms, this dragon symbolizes the family overcoming difficulties. Whether they have already done it or not, who knows. They're pretty successful, but Marius seems to have a lot of difficulties. We'll just leave that there, though, and get to the iffy part. Marius' ring could be in that shape just to form a ring, or it could be an Ouroboros. This could be a major part to his character in some way, if that is indeed true. I'll pretend that it is, just so we can pursue this topic more. But if it ends up just being a ring, I wouldn't mind. The Ouroboros is often interpreted as a symbol for eternal cyclic renewal, or a cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Rich with historical meaning, the Ouroboros symbolizes rebirth, immortality, eternity, protection, self-reliance, unity, and nature's cycles. It's possible that somewhere in his life there is a cycle. Possibilities may include inner turmoil, his dreams versus reality, the future of your relationship with him, from friends to lovers, or maybe even a breakup to a makeup, or anything else that may make itself evident in the future of the game. No matter what, as great as cycles may be to some, there's a major flaw to them. They always end up back where they started. That could mean, yay, I broke even with my mistakes, now I'm back to zero. Or even, oh no, all my hard work was all for nothing, now I'm back to zero. You see? At some point in the cycle, you end up at zero. If Marius accomplishes something, he may just end up back where he started. If he messes up big time, he may just end up back where he started. Let's keep an eye out and see if we can find a cycle that could appear in Marius' life and story. There's an extra side to this, though. The Ouroboros here is a Zhao Long, which is a Chinese dragon. I decided to take a little extra time on this and see what dragons generally symbolize, and found an interesting bit of info. Again, could have literally no significance, but it's interesting so I'm including it. So, the ring is a white dragon, right? The white dragon symbolizes purity. However, people sometimes associate it with death and mourning, and see it as a bad omen. Solar white dragons have the power of the sun. They are a symbol of holiness, creation, and purity. A lunar white dragon symbolizes death and rebirth. So we have a possible clue as to what kind of cycle could show up in Marius' life. Every time this cycle goes around, he loses something. Something dies. Can't tell if it's figurative or literal. Going to guess figurative, but I wouldn't put it past me yo if it's literal. So we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, it's time for the necklace bracelet thing wrapped around his right hand. The symbol on it is the Rod of Asclepius. Goodness, the odds of me pronouncing that correctly are lower than the odds of getting the card I want. Asclepius is the god of healing, doctor's symbol, a staff or rod with a snake curl around it. This is the rod of, I, I, you know what, we get it, medicine and healing. Sounds good, all good. Marius's hand is wrapped up in medicine and, hold on, oh no, it's upside down. Folks, his hand is wrapped in poison and death. Uh oh. 
Looks like it could be trapped, actually. Well, I would continue this, but I believe it fits better with a full-on theory. But, that's all the time we've got for today. I'll be back with three different theories and a little more speculation in the next video, so stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed, and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what I've discussed so far. Again, please don't spoil anything. Rosa signing out.